Hola a todos y todas, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Bienvenidos de nuevo a The Walking Dead. Eh, vamos a continuar con las mini historias del DLC de 400 días, así que bueno, vamos a ello, chavales. Vale, pues ahí retira Beans, que fue el que hicimos el último día. Nos quedan dos eh, mini historias, Shell y Russell. Vamos a hacer en esta ocasión la de Shell. Vamos a ver quién es Shell. Sí, la niña o la madre o la hermana, no sé. Quien sea. Vamos a ver. Shell, día 236. Hey Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here for now. I want her to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Vale, pues bueno, vamos a ver. Parece que aquí tenemos un poco más de control que en otros eh, otras mini historias de estas. Mirar cuchillos. These knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Vale, sigamos investigando por aquí. Armas. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. La verdad es que están bien armados esta peña, ¿eh? Cuchillos, armas, linternas. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Ah, vale, podemos hablar con la gente también, ¿eh? Stephanie. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Vale, nada, no me van a hablar. Vamos a observar foto. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Vale, pues nada, vamos con el tipo ese que que nos pedía ayuda. Pared vacía. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Vale, nada, ya, ya estuvo bien, yo creo, de observar. Pues nos vamos, puertas de cocina, y va por aquí el tipo. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Vale, una puerta. Cafetera. Máquina de gaseosas. Long time. Poseta, nada, vamos para esta puerta a ver qué. 
Me imagino que estará aquí el tipo este, no sé. Callejón. Comida enlatada y bla, bla, bla. Puerta del callejón. Vamos a ver. Hostia, what? Estos son los perros, amigos. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Hey, hablar con caminante. Sí, igual me dice mucho, eh. Vamos a ver. Tenemos otro allí, mirar. No sé qué está comiendo, pero... Que le peten. Pues nada, nos vamos para adentro de nuevo, ¿no? ¡Hostia! Got to me, you know. It was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah, I guess you kind of forget, <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and and now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. It's so okay to be there. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on But his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances. It's about ours. 
What's to stop him from coming back? And armed next time? We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. We can find a way for him to help. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Abri Vernon, eh? Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. I knew it was wrong to steal that boat. But we all went along with it. Beating up that teenage boy and that man. And locking him in the shed. Stupid. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. But we all know what we're talking about. O sea, que esta peña es la que estaba con Vernon y We either let this guy go. Allí abajo, en el en la primera temporada. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Roman's right. It's got to be one or the other. We are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing boat here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Bota decisiva. Liberalo. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't self defense, isn't it? Though, if it means we can't kill him, that's the problem. That isn't the same thing. But last time, Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what Give him got? some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. 
Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Vale, vamos a ver qué quiere el Roman este. No. No me parece muy tr mucho trigo limpio el Roman este, eh. Es la impresión que me da, no lo sé. Vamos a ver. A ver, está muy panchus por aquí, ¿no? En medio de la calle. Joyce. ¿Hablas algo, Joyce? Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. Hostia. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can Stephanie creo que es la colega morena. We'll figure it out. Vamos a ver qué nos dice esta peña. Me parece que Stephanie es la colega morena que estaba hablando en el bar antes con, Roman? con Good, esta tipa Shell. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive. We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? Joder, vaya grupo. Hay mucho colegueo en el grupo este, eh, chavales. Joder, se llevan de puta madre todos. Hay más que movidas. That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Bueno, pues parece que vamos a tener que matar a la tipa esa, no lo sé. Llaves, pistola. O sea, puedo coger las, las llaves para liberarla o algo. 
What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. ¿Y por qué no matemos a Roman? Just let me do it then. What? No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. Vale, llegó el momento, chavales. Irse en el carro, matar a Stephanie. Nos piramos, Roman me cae mal. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Vámonos a cagando hostias, chavales. <risa> Vale, pues hemos acabado esta mini historia. Realmente no sé qué pasaría si si elijo la pistola, si llegaríamos al mismo final o qué. No lo sé. En fin, nada, espero que os haya gustado. Eh, nos queda una última mini historia, Russell. Así que nada, la haremos en el próximo episodio, que será el último ya de este The Walking Dead, episodio, eh, temporada 1 más DLC 400 días. Así que nada, un saludo a todos y hasta luego, chavales. Adiós.